everyone. This is Jesse from Hearts Lawn Service. Um, I had an interaction with a customer the other day that I wanted to share um, because this probably will will happen to you one day or you've already had it happen. Um, but uh, I've got a regular customer that um, it's got a small yard so I don't charge a whole lot <clears throat> that I cut every week. <clears throat> And uh, uh, she had asked me to um, weed eat this like six foot area um, beside her back deck, and it was about three foot tall. And I said, "Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it." So I went ahead and did that. I didn't charge her extra, and she didn't pay me anything extra either. <clears throat> and then. Uh, the following week, um, she asked me to do more weed eating, like behind her house, between her hedges, and um, at that, I was, you know, I'm like, okay, uh, I can't keep doing that, because she's going to keep asking me to do more things, and I was like, um, I just finally said, you know, just show me what you want done, and I'll give you a price for it. And she was all set back like, oh my gosh, really? And I'm like, well, you know, this is extra. You know, this isn't part of cutting your grass, mowing your yard. Um, this is not something I do every week. You know, so this is technically, you know, an extra thing, extra thing to do. And I pretty much get paid by the hour, you know, even though I've based her job based on how long I'm going to mow her yard. Um... You know, I know how much that's going to cost. And then she was like, oh, I didn't know you charged by the hour. And I'm like, well, anything extra, you know, that's what I do. And, um, and this is extra. So she got all upset and said, I'll find somebody else to do it. Well, you know, so she didn't even want a price. And I was probably just going to, you know, say like $5 extra and you know leave it at that but she didn't even want to know the price she just wanted to jump into I'll get somebody else to do it um, she already started to get somebody else to do her hedges trimming her hedges and you know that was kind of awkward this year I haven't even trimmed them back this year she's gotten somebody else to do it um, you know which is just kind of weird but that's her choice um but you know i also do my pricing based on how many things i do do at the house so you know if i do your hedges i do your grass cutting you know all that stuff you know then i won't charge as much knowing that i'm going to be doing multiple services there so now i've got to kind of recalculate my pricing now for next year um, if I don't do the hedges at all this year um, but you know some customers are loyal and will get you to do everything and some aren't you know some it just whatever the dollar figure is they go with that you know if they find somebody to do it for a dollar cheaper they'll get somebody else um, so you're going to run into that but that's life that's just the way it is um, so anyway, I just left it at that, you know, I just said, okay, uh, because I knew if I kept doing extra stuff, you know, and not charging her and she's not going to give me a dollar extra, you know, it's just going to keep mounting, you know, the next week it'll be something else. So I kind of had to like catch that where it was and just take a stand and just, you know, let them know. Uh, but that's what you got to do sometimes. Now, maybe that's happened with y'all. Um, but that's how I handled it. If you want to comment below on how you might handle something like that, that's cool. Um, but that's the way that one ended up. So anyway, I just wanted to like share that because I know that'll, that'll come up from time to time with, with some people. So anyway got to get back to 
mowing. So, we'll see you next time.